Are you from the Bortine area? No, miles away. The way he averted his eyes and didn't elaborate raised her suspicions again. He definitely wasn't comfortable answering questions about himself. But then she didn't enjoy talking about herself either. Had she seen his face in the press or on television? Perhaps he'd been a competitor in one of those cooking competitions she loved watching so much. He didn't look like a cook, but appearances could be deceptive. They moved around the display board and Ellie spotted tables laid out beyond. How lovely! They've entered ceramics and sculptures too. She went over to take a closer look. Harry trailed after her. Reaching out her hand to caress a large pot, just at the same time as he did, their fingers brushed against each other, and she leapt back as if she'd been stung. He didn't show any sign of having noticed, but ran his palm disconcertingly over the glaze. She watched mesmerised. His fingers were strong, his nails short. Ellie wondered what it would feel like to have those fingers touching her hair. What was happening here? She'd schooled herself not to react to men in this way. It was difficult to regain trust once it had been destroyed. How come you were chosen to judge this competition? There was challenge in his voice now, but the hint of a smile is in his expression. She stopped ticking her score sheet. I've been working with the art groups at the school for the past year. I'm the sponsor of the Art Exposium competition. Passing Harry a leaflet from her clipboard, she wished the art competition had been a purely altruistic idea, but the truth was that it enabled her to put her name and work in the path of the parents, grandparents and all the staff of the school. She needed to raise the profile of her gallery as much as possible if the business was going to thrive. Harry scanned the leaflet. Your golden design? Yes, Ellie Golden, artist. She chastised herself for doing a silly little curtsy to accompany the words. What's your style of art, Ellie Golden, artist? His head was on one side, his tone sarcastic again, but his smile suggested he was flirting with her. She was pleased and disconcerted all at the same time. Abstract acrylics and large ceramic pieces mainly. I'm inspired by the sea and the hills around here. He read aloud the address of her studio from the leaflet. That's off the high street, isn't it? She nodded, trying to gauge his thoughts from the dark brown eyes. His eyelashes were impossibly long. She dragged her focus back to the score sheet and realised she'd marked her entry against the wrong number yet again. She was usually meticulous about detail. What has got into you, Ellie Golden? I'll have to come to your gallery and have a look at your work. The walls in my flat are looking a bit sad and bare at the moment. You've moved to Bortine already? Yes, I want to get familiar with the area before September. Are you a local? No, I moved here after my divorce. The words were out of her mouth before she'd censored them, and she kicked herself for telling him that. It felt as if she'd told him she was single and open for offers. Harry Dixon was infuriatingly attractive, but she still couldn't shake off the sense that they'd met before.